I'm the Secretary General of the World Alliance of YMCA. Our headquarters is in Geneva, Switzerland. I'm happy to be here today uh, with my colleague from the Asia and Pacific Alliance and the leaders of uh, the Sri Lanka YMCA. The YMCA this year is going to celebrate 175th year of uh, anniversary. Um, and we are present in 120 countries around the world, present in 12,000 communities. The YMCA starts as a simple idea, so I've been a, a, a space, a safe space for young people to grow, to find safety, and to develop themselves so that they can become a change agent or change maker in their communities. Why are we here today? On Easter, we all wake up. As a Christian organization, a leader of a Christian movement, we all wake up to celebrate that important moment of our faith. And what we heard is a disaster here in Sri Lanka. We all felt we are Sri Lankan that day. It's not something that's happened far away because it touched the heart of our faith. But YMCA is a ecumenical organization. But we are open to all denominations. So we are here today first to express our sympathy to the people of Sri Lanka, to our members, the Sri Lankan YMCA, and to say, you are not alone, we are all affected by what happened. But at the same time, we want our message to be a message of peace. To be a message of peace, because without peace, this world is not going to go anywhere. We work with young people, and we know that this disaster has been produced by other young people. But YMCA, we are different. And our place, our spaces are open to everybody. Religion or faith should not make a difference between us. Our faith should unite us. We believe in the same principle, in the same values. That's why I want to say in my capacity of Secretary General of the World Alliance, all over the world, YMCA will continue to be open to everybody. And if we find someone who does not share, we have a way of dealing with that, with love, with affection. Because at the end of the day, what is more important for us is the dignity of the human being. This is how God created us, to be dignified people. And we should continue to work so that everybody recovers his dignity. Um, be thankful for the warm welcome we receive here in Sri Lanka, in Batikalwa. And we thank you for the work you are doing. And we pray for the healing of those who have been affected. We pray for peace and we pray for harmonious living of community side by side. Thank you. My name is Nam Buon uh, from Asia and Pacific Alliance of OMCA, an integral part of World Alliance of OMCA, uh, comprised of 24 national movements in Asia and Pacific region. And the, as you would all agree, Asia is unique in a sense that there are so many different religions. We have been living together for thousands of years in a harmonious coexistence between people of other faith and other religions, even other ideologies. But uh, as my colleague Carlos mentioned, uh, this uh, conflict, even in a bitter way, which took so many uh, valuable lives. You remember that it happened in New Zealand about one or two months ago, and uh, it has happened in Myanmar, where uh, minority Muslim Rohingya was wiped away in a very brutal way by the uh, militant groups of other religions and uh, just to name a few in, in over the Asia. So it is, I believe that it is a God-called mission that how YMCA as a faith-based organization uh, tackle these two uh, somewhat 
contradictory tasks and challenges ahead of us. That is, how we can deepen and strengthen our Christian faith, trying to follow the teachings and the footsteps of Jesus Christ, but at the same time, by the same demand coming from Jesus, how we can uh, open our hearts to the teachings of other religions so that we can find some common ground to build peace and to find a way to live together in a harmonious and peaceful way in this multi-religious and uh, multicultural context of Asia. I think it looks like self-contradictory tasks, but I think in, in the blessing of God, I think it is possible. And I appreciate very much all this against, uh, I mean, all in the midst of this uh, challenging situation after this brutal terrorist attack, you churches and YMCA's in Sri Lanka gave message to your people and community that let's do not revenge and let's find our own ways to continue our peaceful coexistence. That was your message to your people, I remember. So I, I'm very thankful to your message and your tolerance amidst all these sufferings and pains and you, I, I witnessed that you have your Muslim staff in the YMCA working very closely, collaboratively, together in a peaceful way. And they said in my interview with them, they are existing because of uh, YMCA's contribution to them, and they are willing to contribute to the YMCA with their own capacity. Here I'm with uh, Dr. Muriel, who is in charge of uh, Interfaith Cooperation Forum for Peace Building. And uh, APAY, together with World Alliance, is ready and willing to continue and expand our work for interreligious dialogue, for peace building, towards a more inclusive and diverse society. Not, e not only even uh, in Sri Lanka, but all over Asia. So let's work together with the same mission. And uh, I saw that Sri Lanka YMCA has a huge capacity to do that. And uh, let's work hand in hand uh, to bring a lasting peace in, in your society and beyond, especially in an inter-religious context. Thank you very much. Uh, World Alliance, uh, YMC is in the Podichel Alar, Asian Pacific Alliance in the Podichel Alar, Matamaro de Vandar Grangal Vandu, in the in the uh, Kadanda Uitanyar and Adanda Koduramana Kunduvadi Pitkupit Pade, our Lingi Vande, Engle de Makalodum, Padikapatur Lodum, our de Anada Vangalayam. Unar Bhagalayam Pandu Kav and the Gragal Bayam C Ilangela Nuti Mupati Badangal Munadi in the Velasi on Rigrom Makodu Makala Girigrom Illa Madam Ina Moli Sarn the Vergal Yangle Bayam C Lir Kragal in the Bayam C one the Ilarakum Puduan or Nervana Tang Elodum Velasiro in the Nangal Todandum Munadu Pamande. Bayam Seagal and Tesis of Isarva, Udi Alticur.